Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? It's time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. It's Saturday and I've just been a couch potato, plain and simple. <laughs> but I'm up now. <laughs> it's uh, Saturday, June 18th, 2016. Time again for us to take apart my pocket dump. What you see right there? That's what's filling my pockets on this Saturday. I threw it on the table early this morning as I was going through the Pelican cases. Threw it on the table, made it all nice and pretty once I made my choice, especially for that middle one. Took a picture, posted it on Instagram, turned my iPhone 6S Plus from photo to video. Now let's just talk about the knives, okay? The watch today is my Concord Impresario. It's a wonderful um, automatic chronograph. Saturday, usually I have a big hunkin' hunkin' cigar that I can start smoking in the afternoon and finish later tonight. Yeah, I'm that kind of cigar smoking guy. This is the St. Louis, I call it Louis, St. Louis Ray. Uh, Cuban cigar. Oh, what a nice tasting cigar. That's my cigar as I celebrate all day long Saturday. I tell you, I couldn't wait till Saturday came here. And by the time Saturday came, I was too tired to enjoy it. I mean, usually I'm an early riser. I tried, folks. And I've been groggy all day long. The good news is I'm recording this later than usual. But it'll be up in 30 minutes. That's the good thing about great internet. Um, so anyway, uh, the coin today, you know, I have a bunch of these presidential coins from the U.S. Mint. They were limited. And so I grabbed them. They're not all that exciting coins, but they are interesting, to say the least. This is the President Lyndon Johnson coin all of them limited editions and sold out and all that stuff. Uh, that's going to be my silver coin, one ounce coin for today. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's the Shone pin. Shone design pin, Ian Shone, made in the USA and Massachusetts. It's just a wonderful piece. This is the steel piece. It was limited, PV, oh, sorry, out of frame, PVD uh, and DLC coated. DLC is that diamond-like carbon. Uh, it's really nice. It's on a lot of watches as well. It's just a nice pin. Uh, that's shown pin, and yes, that's one of my recent um, <laughs> indulgence are these shown pen S C H O N. Someone asked me, they said they tried to get it on the, uh, uh, internet S C H O N and design is D S G N dot com. And no, I don't know him at all. <laughs> I pay for him just like everyone else. The, um, the wallet is one of the, uh, the vintage, uh, coach wallets. And I am drinking <laughs> blended scotch of the brown kind. Um, man, I don't know. I just keep sipping, sipping, sipping. <laughs> Almost sleepy, but not sleepy enough. You ever have that kind of a day? But you know what? I love just laying around. <laughs> I think if you work hard, then you deserve on Saturday for it to just be your day. And so I'm treating it like it's just my day. But I really like this carry. Oh, I really like this carry. Field notes is my notepad. Oh, I just covered everything with my field notes. Let's put it over here. And let's talk about the carry today. I do like it. I, I almost tried to go all wood today. <laughs> I was just feeling in a woodsy place, not like I was going camping or anything, <laughs> but I was thinking about wood. So I pulled out my Copa. 
This is one of the 16 Copas that I have. Hey, you guys, I, I'm trying to adjust my light a little. I've been noticing that uh, a lot of it, my lighting is good for taking photos for Instagram of a bunch of knives, or even when you're doing videos, it doesn't wash out the other videos on the table. You notice how some people do videos on YouTube and they have to wait because the camera keeps focusing and unfocusing. So it works for that, but I notice a lot of flare on the blade. So I try to take it down a little so it doesn't flare in your eyes as much. Comment in the um, windowsill <laughs> downstairs. I call it a windowsill. The thing where all the comments are. Uh, comment, let me know if you like this better uh, or not. I'll still play around with the lighting. I'll try to get it nice for you guys. Anyway, this is the Copa. It's one of my 16. Copa is a 16 set limited series from Spydeco. Each knife has steel bolsters, has VG10 steel blade. They all have that traditional Spydeco leaf blade. They're all 2.4 inches. The exact same profile. They all have that wonderful steel clip right here all with a back lock that strong look at that strong strong back lock the difference is the inset this one has multiple pieces of wood it's called the stacked wood copa again each knife of the 16 are limited to 600 which means there are only 599 stack wood copas in the world oh man i love these copas i tell you i i can this is a set that i want to pass down to my kids and grandkids i just i just love it um just like when i had my grandfather's knife just his little simple pen knife these aren't simple they're all different but i think they'll mean something as the years go on that's my keychain knife by the way i'll stick my keys my keychain is a simple <laughs> steel loop with three simple keys on it. This is the medium knife. It's the <laughs> Chris Reeve Manundi. Manundi is Zulu for very nice. And you know what? This is a very nice knife. <laughs> this is the Coca Bolo inset with that, uh, the, the blade which is a 2.75, 2.75 inch blade. This is with the basket weave, Damascus. Oh man, tie liners, that wonderful titanium clip, that hidden frame lock right there, the Chris Reeve integral lock is really just nice. I love the basket weave because they have that real tight pattern, Damascus pattern with all that steel stacked on top of each other, making that wonderful pattern. It's so tight that it really, oh man, look at that. The spine of the blade just looks beautiful. This is just a beautiful knife everywhere. Chris Reeve announced four new wood inlays for his knives, the Manundis as well as the Sabenzas, uh, all of the inlays, he, he introduced four new woods. I haven't seen them. <laughs> I check on his website almost every day because when I'm do the, doing these things for you guys, I, I sometimes check out the knives that I have just to double check the dimensions and stuff, but I haven't seen him post that yet. He also announced at Blade Show 2016, besides the woods, he also announced a large and cozy, and I haven't seen that yet available. Can't wait till it is. I'm going to hop on it. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to hop on it. This is the Coca Bolo. This is my medium carry. This is the Coca Bolo Manunde from Chris Reeve. And I'll tell you, so I was thinking all of the knives are going to be <laughs> uh, kind of medium anyway. I was going to go with the Stackwood Copa, the Coca Bolo uh, Manundi with the basket weave, 
And then I ended up carrying this, and I will talk about that in a few moments, but I really was thinking even of having the, I, I call it the black sheep in the Sage family. This is Spotico Sage 4. This is the Sage that represents the backlock. As you know, the Sage series, each one represents uh, a lock. Uh, the first Sage 1 is carbon fiber, and it represents the liner lock. Sage 2, that full titanium blade, it represents the Chris Reeve integral lock. Then we have the bolt lock. Is it bolt lock? Uh, for the third one. And then the fourth one is this one. This one is discontinued. Every other one isn't discontinued because you guys weren't showing it the love. Not you guys. I mean, when I say you guys, I mean the world didn't show it the love. It's a little heavy. I actually like it. It's very old fashioned looking. You have the stainless steel bolster and then it goes into this really nice Arizona ironwood. So it does look something out of the past, doesn't it? It has that very strong lock. All of the sages carry that deep pocket wire clip. This one is color to, to to match the wood oh man i i think it's very sturdy but you know what i don't carry it that much even though i really love the knife discontinued the only one of the sages discontinued and of course spyderco has announced that they're going to come out with a sage five which is going to include the spyderco compression lock that's on the paramilitary two and other knives this is the carry I was thinking of, but you know what? All the blades were pretty much different blades with pretty close to size. So I passed on the Sage. By the way, that Sage, all of the Sages are S30V steel, three inch blades with that Spydeco leaf blade. Instead, yeah, I went into the 50, 1550 case with the Chris Reeves and pulled out one of my favorite knives and that's that carbon fiber large Sabenza 21 from Chris Reeve. It is a knife art exclusive where the show side scale is all carbon fiber. Beautiful carbon fiber. Not only does it give it that classy look but it takes off a lot of the weight so they're very light. Full tie, work side, the lock side. Of course, the blade, this one is an Insingo blade. Chris Reeve calls it Insingo. That's Zulu for razor. Really nice. S35 VN steel. And all of these, if you want them new, you got to go to knifeart.com and you'll get that special bead. I love the blue accents. Man, I have the whole family of these. I have the uh, Sabenza 25, the 21, of course. I have two small Sabenza 21s, one with Damascus and the other without. Oh, man, I really love this knife. Oh, 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 oh. Man, I love it. It's big, but a lot lighter than even the small Sage with all that uh arizona ironwood so that's it that's the carry and the knife that got away the carry is the copa stackwood the coca bola Menunde from chris reeve and then the large chris reeve sabenza 21 knifeart.com exclusive carbon fiber carbon fiber sabenza 21 knife that got away it's the discontinued, it's funny, people don't like it, this will end up being the most expensive knife since it was discontinued so early. It is the Sage 4 from Spydeco. Hey, you guys, I really enjoy you. Please thumb this up if you enjoy it. Give me a, okay, give me some likes, please. Uh, it just keeps me going, I really appreciate it. I owe people who have commented replies, I will get to the replies, I promise you. I've just been 
weirded out for some reason this week, real tired. But I'll be back, I promise you. Please keep the comments going. I got some great comments too. Uh, and I wanna respond to you because uh, people really gave me a lot of information. Uh, my good buddy, a uh, number of you reminded me that um, sub, uh, Spydeco just came out with another domino, this time with a red um, weaved uh, pattern on the scales. Yeah, I ordered it. <laughs> it's coming soon, so I'll show that off once it arrives. I'm excited. Thank you for that information. I didn't know about it. You guys keep giving me information. You keep correcting some of my information as well. So please keep those comments coming. I promise I will personally respond to everyone. But I love that it's down in the comments so that everyone else can uh, enjoy your insight and your knowledge. Most of you guys know way more than I do about knives. Please thumb it up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Our goal is a thousand. Once we hit a thousand, I'm opening up two Pelican cases that hold 400 Spydecos. And so we're just gonna have a Spydeco party. Um, so I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram. I post at least four knife related uh, pictures uh, throughout the day. Hey, you guys seriously have a great life. Seriously have a perfect day. And hey, have some fun. Keep those pockets full. I appreciate all of you. Goodbye.